Curious about the best places to kiss a man on his to body? To really wrap him up, want to know all of the non-sexual, erogenous zones you can focus on to make them putty in your hands? I've got those 10 places men love to be kissed. Coming up right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating a relationship I want to get physical and touch on all of those hot spots. But where to kiss a guy if you believe he's earned the special attention from you. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do and in what order to execute them to promote a pleasurable experience for him. First, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to learn a few tips and tricks from a married guy about how to enhance your dating and relationship lives with other guys, just click subscribe below and make sure to turn on all notifications and hit that like button to help support my channel in a simple free way i can't thank you enough for your support also if you have a specific question for me or you just need immediate advice about a hot date coming up or about a guy that's been acting weird lately just hit me up on my vizio page at daterbon.com vizio and tell me a little bit about what's going on once you choose a response time i will then return to you a four to seven minute video response in as little as today's I take notes and I give you custom, tailored advice to whatever you're currently experiencing right now. Sit me up and let's get you set up for success. Now back to the sequence of how to kiss a man and really turn him on. Do me a favor, grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper before I get into these 10 kiss pathways. Again, this is meant to be a sensual way for you to connect with your man and have him return the favor sensually to you as well. It simply requires him to be laying on his back with his shorts on. And whatever you choose to do after the 10th I'm tip, gonna give you is totally up to you. Just know that this is a very specific set of kiss sequences that will get him very excited. So you've been warned. Here are the 10 kiss pathways to focus on. To get your man good and relaxed, the first pathway is his inner wrist. To the bend of his arms. So let's set the scene a little bit here. First you want him lying down comfortably on his back. He can have shorts on or he can not have shorts on. It's up to you but no shirt. Ask him to take that off next. Grab a scarf or a bandana. Just something to cover his eyes with. This will help build the anticipation for him as you work your kiss magic. Now you want to start right here on his inner wrist. Take his hand into yours and just slowly kiss his arm. All the way up to the bend of it. Then slowly move to the other arm and repeat the process. The second pathway is his lots. To the base of his armpits. Oh, now we're gently climbing on top of him and you're gonna slowly move your head to the sides of his body as you straddle him now once you're there. You're gonna start your kisses at the lower part of his lateral muscles which is right here and you're gonna slowly move up until you get to the lower horseshoe of his armpits. Now hopefully took a shower and he smells A good. little deodorant doesn't hurt either. Again once you get to the armpit, you're just working the lower part of it. Almost the lower horseshoe. And this will most likely be a pretty sensitive area for him. So you might find when you're kissing that area that he's a little ticklish. Maybe check in with him real quick by softly Are saying Are you enjoying this? Before moving to the other side of his body. The third pathway is his belly button to his chest. Now after a brief pause, after you hit his lots and his armpits, slide off of him and kneel next to him. That way you can more easily access his belly button. Once you're there just start kissing around it, but not directly on it. He might start asking you questions at this point, where you quickly hush him up and go shh. No questions. Then you start kissing him up the center of his body. For some of you, it might make sense to have a little mood music playing in the background something like or maybe even something like, oh that's nice. Just keep kissing up the center of his body towards his chest. The fourth pathway is his areola to his areola. I'm trying not to say the word for this pointy thing right here because I'm worried my video's gonna get demonetized. So let's try areola, it's technical. It's precise, it's the thing around the thing. That's where we move now. Kiss in a ring pattern around this region without actually kissing the bullseye. You got me, he'll want you to, but don't trust me. Go back and forth between the areolas once or twice. And if it feels right, maybe use the tip of your tongue for a split second. This entire region is also a very sensitive region. For a man, the fifth pathway is his bottom lip to his upper lip. Now by this point, he's gonna be like, that's the sign you're doing great. Now from the chest, slide up to his head and move to his mouth. You can do this by straddling him again or just simply kneeling beside him. It's totally up to you now with your mouth. Take his bottom lip into your mouth 
and just start lightly sucking on it. Now switch to his upper lip and do the same there. He's gonna wanna make out with you, but get him to pump the brakes. Just say no no no. Not yet he'll be like, okay okay, whatever you want. Now let's move to the next pathway. The sixth pathway is his eyelid to his eyelid. After you're done with his lips, just stop and pause for a second. Just stay still for a sec. While he tries to figure out where you went. Where are you? Where did you go? Once you can tell he's searching for you a little bit. Now move his eye covering off his face. And tell him to keep his eyes closed. Lightly kiss the tops of his eyelids. Make a slow kiss trail across the bridge of his nose. As you move from eyelid to eyelid. Really take your time here as you kiss an eyelid. Blow on it ever so slightly, from a few inches or a few centimeters away. You'll feel the coolness from that and really enjoy it. The seventh pathway is the sides of his neck, to his ears. Okay, now we're working The muscles with. that run along the sides of his neck, the sternocleidomastid muscle. I want you to start kissing that muscle from the top of his collarbone all the way up along the side of his neck up to his ear and it's gonna be here where I'm gonna suggest that you add a little bit of light nibbling along the side of his neck and you can even brush your nose up against the bottom of his earlobe as you move your way up but just make sure you don't kiss his earlobe or do anything else there quite yet. That's gonna be our next step. The eighth pathway is the base of his earlobes to the tops of them now with the earlobes. These can be really sensitive, so I want you to use a combination of kissing, nibbling, and even some light licking around the perimeter of his earlobes. Some people don't enjoy having their ears touched at all, so just be in tune with how he's responding to this area. If he's not into it, just move on to the next kiss pathway. But for most men, he will most certainly enjoy this type of treatment. Around his ears, the ninth pathway is his ankles, up the sides of his calves. So, now we're moving from the top of his body and moving all the way down to his ankles here. I want you to caress the backs of his calves with your fingertips in a dragging motion like this. Start your kissing in the front shin area and then move up alongside the ankle to the calf all the way up to the knee. Gonna do this with both legs. Now, this is gonna be a much less sensitive area for him than where you just were. So, we're giving him a little breather here. The tenth pathway is his knees up his inner thighs. Let's keep working up that leg. Shall we, by the way, if you need a drink of water at this point in the process or any time before, just go ahead and have that drink close After by. After you've done that, now start kissing the sides of his kneecaps and start kissing slowly up his inner thigh. Like I said before, depending on your relationship with him, he's gonna have shorts on. So, after you kiss in that inner thigh area, it's totally up to you what you do after that. I will caution you though that these kiss sequences will turn him on a bit. So I only suggest using them for foreplay or for rewarding for him for being a great guy in your life. So, what about your preferences for kissing men? What's your go-to spot to kiss on him? Let me know down in comments right now and if we can keep these comments PG-13. That will definitely help them from getting flagged or removed from YouTube unnecessarily. So just keep that in mind while writing your comments. Also,